There is a new project in town dubbed by many as the Solana Killer. Interestingly enough, there was so much hype around the project even before it was launched. Ring any bells? Well, the project is Aptos. It gained much traction as it is backed by notable VCs, and there were widespread discussions about its mouth-watering promises. After four years of development and millions in funding, Aptos finally launched on the 17th of October. However, its launch wasn't ideal. Deal. Aptos was supposed to deliver an impressive 160,000 transactions per second, but instead it was only 4 TPS. Now for context, that's almost half as slow as the Bitcoin network. Now Aptos responded to the criticism and claimed that the network was performing as expected, with activity expected to increase as more ecosystem participants join. In this video, let's dive deeper into the project, including its technology. So make sure you stick around to find out what the hype is all about. Okay, first, what is Aptos? So Aptos is a layer one blockchain platform like Ethereum and Solana. Like many blockchains, it aims to create the ideal blockchain, one that maintains decentralization and delivers top-notch security, all while offering scalability through stability, fast transaction speeds, and low fees. In their white paper, Aptos claims to offer safe, scalable and upgradable Web3 infrastructure. These are bold claims, but there are more reasons the Layer 1 platform was so highly anticipated. For instance, the team behind the project. Aptos's development started as early as 2018 by a team headed by former Meta, formerly Facebook, employees Mo Shake as Aptos's CEO and Avery Ching as CTO. The connection with Meta garnered much attention from both the crypto community and investors. The team raised $350 million in funding from a series of notable investor campaigns led by Andreessen Horowitz and FTX Ventures. Aptos, however, isn't the first cryptocurrency with a direct connection to the popular social media firm. In 2019, Meta tried its hand at a blockchain known as Diem. However, pressure from government regulators prompted the tech giant to shelve the project. But developers saw value in its key differentiator, parallel execution. Which brings us to the next segment. How does Aptos work? Aptos's parallel execution ensures that all transactions are performed simultaneously and validated afterward. It takes a different approach from a blockchain like Ethereum, which processes transactions sequentially. The downside, though, is that sequential execution of transactions affects transaction finality as you have to wait for each new transaction to be added and validated first. Sequential blockchains prioritize security, but this comes at a heavy cost of efficiency. Aptos' solution to this is to execute transactions first and ask questions later. Basically, adequately placed transactions will go through and failed transactions won't halt the whole chain. Instead, they are aborted and re-executed. Aptos's other unique feature is its custom programming language known as Move, which was first designed for the DM blockchain. Similar to Ethereum Solidity, the core of the Aptos blockchain was designed using Move-inspired protocols. Move is supposed to make transactions faster without sacrificing security. However, developers must spend sufficient time learning the language before they can start building Aptos-based projects. What consensus mechanism does Aptos use? Like other POS blockchains, validators on the Aptos network verify the integrity of data blocks added to the blockchain. Um, they ensure that malicious data blocks are screened out of the chain to keep the network secure. 
Running a validator node on Aptos is basically the same process whereby you have to stake at least a predetermined number of Aptos tokens. So speaking of Aptos tokens, it functions as the utility and governance token of the platform. Now, before launch, there was no news of the tokenomics for APT and this lack of visibility led to concerns in the community, which the team sought to quiet by revealing their tokenomics. Unfortunately, crypto Twitter didn't take kindly to 49% of the token supply being allocated to the investors, core contributors and foundations. Apto said tokens held by private investors and current core contributors are subject to a four-year lockup schedule from the mainnet launch to avoid dumps. However, according to the team's blog post, 82% of the tokens on the network are staked across all categories, meaning that the company and early insiders will earn the majority of staking rewards, which are not subject to lockups. All right, let's now find out how Apto stacks up against incumbents like Ethereum and Solana. Okay, so first, Aptos challenges Solana on what it prides itself on most transaction speeds. Aptos claims a throughput of 160,000 transactions per second compared to Solana's 65,000. Still, Solana is a proven fast blockchain. It has, however, suffered multiple technical breakdowns over the last few months and Aptos aims to attempt to solve this problem. Then, on the other hand, we have Ethereum, a tried and tested network that lacks scalability and quick transaction processing. So, Aptos is trying to solve Ethereum's speed and scalability issues and Solana's downtime problems to become the ideal blockchain. That said, it's too early to make any comparisons and only time will tell if Aptos can back up its claims. Now, there is perhaps a more interesting competitor that's worth mentioning. That is Mistin Labs' Sui blockchain. Just like Aptos, Sui is being developed by ex-Meta founders using the Move programming language and is another high-profile layer one blockchain project. Both projects have also raised an excess of 300 million each to pursue their goal of a scalable and secure low fee blockchain. Okay, wrapping up. It's true that we have blockchains that are already doing a great job. However, they are still far from perfect. Developers are working hard on fixing their systems while facing up and coming competitors like Aptos. So Aptos is attempting to develop a new system that solves the space's prevailing problems in one go. Now that's a big mountain to climb, but on paper, their technology seems promising. We'll have to see, however, if they actually deliver on their promises. So what do you think? Can Aptos shake up the blockchain platform space? Give us your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, also remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our socials for future alpha. See ya.